Now the best way to understand the equilibrium processes are the physical processes. Okay? And, and let us take an example. <clears throat> so, and, and amongst those physical processes, it is the phase transformation process that is, that is one of the easiest to understand and visualize. So we start with the, the phase transformation processes. Phase transformation processes. Right? Now, now what can they be? They can be solid, liquid, solid, liquid or liquid gas or the third one is solid gas okay we start with the with the solid liquid equilibrium so the first one right so the first one is solid liquid equilibrium okay now let's say i have an insulated environment okay so so somehow this is all insulated say a refrigerator okay and it is maintained at 273 it is maintained at 273 kelvin so so that is that is zero degree centigrade this enclosure is at 273k which is zero degree centigrade and this is an ice cube okay an ice cube at zero degree centigrade now you'll find that if if it is it is put in in a container that contains water then neither the neither the mass of the ice increases or decreases so it will just look like this let us say let us say the water is water is something like this okay and obviously the the ice will float okay so say it is something like this okay uh, this is not an exact representation because only one tenth of the ice will be above and and the rest 90 percent will be below it okay so so this is how it might look okay now at a given moment of time and you'll find that the level of water is also the same so nothing is happening right neither the neither the melting is taking place nor is the solidification taking place fine so both the masses both the both the both the mass of the ice and the mass of the liquid you'll find to be constant now it looks like a static equilibrium but it is not so what is happening at any point of time some liquid molecules some liquid molecules or, 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 or say from the solid some of them are are going into the liquid phase okay so some of them are moving into the liquid phase and simultaneously and simultaneously no simultaneously um, let me increase the level of water so this say something like this okay and simultaneously what is happening some of the molecules which are in the liquid phase they are they are moving they have got a brownian motion okay they can glide past each other they are going and and say hitting the surface and getting transformed into the solid phase okay and this keeps on going incessantly at zero degree centigrade fine and the solid and the liquid they are in equilibrium at any given point of time okay so so there is an intense activity at the 
there is an intense activity activity at the solid liquid interface intense activity solid liquid interface sees an intense activity and and it's a dynamic equilibrium the equilibrium is a is a dynamic dynamic one and not a static equilibrium it is not a static equilibrium right <clears throat> Now we, we know from our experience and that we have already uh, studied when we were in the vapor phase. What happens? This is, this is the point. This is a temperature. The 273K is the temperature where, where we say that it is, the, it is either the melt, melting point of the ice or also called the freezing point of the, of the liquid. Right? So what happens? We can we can now with the, with the uh, with the equilibrium in mind, we can we can now give a, 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 an alternate definition that the temperature at which the temperature at which the liquid and solid phase of of a pure substance are in equilibrium is called is called the melting point melting point of the solid phase of the solid phase of the substance or or freezing point so so let me freezing point freezing point of the liquid phase of the substance of the liquid phase of the substance get the point freezing point of, of the liquid phase of the substance so it is freezing point for water or melting point for ice zero degree centigrade that we that we know right and and the and some two important points are important points are that 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 both the processes of liquid to liquid to solid and liquid to solid and solid to liquid occur simultaneously okay they occur simultaneously and they occur simultaneously and and they occur at the same rate both the processes both the processes occur at the same rate both the processes occur at the same rate 
so that the amount of the liquid or solid phase is a constant it is a constant fine 